coffee talk, which I don't have my coffee of day 22 of Vlogmas, your favorite half undead knitting content creator here. Back from the dead. Anyways, um, yeah, it's been a hot second since I vlogged. It is day 22 of Vlogmas. Whoa, we're just like all over the place with the camera right now. And uh, yeah, I figured, let me just go get my coffee. I remembered where I put the coffee this time. So, am I in focus? Am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. All right, so let's talk about everywhere I've been for the past week. Uh, Friday, I went to Lev's company Christmas party. Completely forgot, that was two and a half hours away from us. So I literally spent the entire, almost the entire day in the car. Uh, got trashed, because I don't normally drink. Yeah, that was fun, but not too trashed. There's a level, I know, my limits because I learned that young. So Saturday I spent the day 90% dead, complaining about life. The Sunday we cleaned. We moved the giant shelves that were in the kitchen from our this is probably haunted adventure. And um, my coffee's too hot to drink or I'm just being a baby about it, probably too hot. I don't know if you guys can see the steam. hot uh monday i filmed and didn't put it up because i was gonna put everything from the weekend together and then i just didn't and then yesterday was a very very much no bones day and uh there was absolutely nothing important whatsoever except a lot of crying and misery misery and i slept till 10 o'clock today Ta -da! and now i'm back uh so now that I've summed up where I've been, let's talk about something that I know a lot of you have been wondering. My dad has been discharged from the hospital. I am so relieved and I'm being very boppily because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, yes, I touched up my roots. Love helps me do this, except this is all white. I'm not bald. This is literally just white and it doesn't, um, doesn't ever take, so. Uh, I watched Midnight Mass, finally. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, back, back, back on the topic. My dad is out of the hospital. He is recovering. And um, I'm so thankful that he is home. Well, not here, because he doesn't live with us, but at his home. And um, he is on the mend. Don't know how long that's gonna take to be on the mend, but he is now on the mend, which is just overall fantastic. Um, let's see. Things I didn't talk about, where did they go? That came in the mail is the little card in here. Yes, hold on. Hold on, guys. You get to see my rat's nest in the back of my head because I don't brush my hair often and I don't wash it a lot. That's why I'm able to keep my hair blonde and bleached and more. Amy of the Not and Knits podcast. She has this cute little note. This sent me pom poms from some of my hats. And I love you. And I love the internet. And Amy, thank you so much. I forgot to post about it. So here you guys are with the really cute little pom-poms she sent me. There's no more to wall. Yeah, you can look at them. You, have you not looked at them? Here, go on the other They're side of the table. Cool. Here, you can look at them. Sorry, real close to the camera, real close and personal. And then the only other, the other thing that I got in the mail would be from my lambstring yarn, uh, Saint Nick 2021, which is um, based off of one of Mark Ryden's photos or paintings I should say, and if you guys didn't know, yes, Ryden, who's across from me, right there, hey, you can play with this, they're fine, is named after Mark Ryden, the contemporary artist, because he is my all-time favorite artist, and he thinks that's cool, because we've got all, the, we got a lot of his artwork up and about, and I have a lot of his, I have two of his books, I have The Tree Show, and then, what is it, The Pink Gay 90s book, I think, is the other one I have, do you know what the other book is, The Pink One, have you seen it? You have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, we have a lot of uh, the pictures up on the uh, eclectic gallery wall in the living room. So that's where I've been. That is everything that we've done. Uh, do you have anything you wanna add, buddy? You wanna come say hi now, now that I'm done talking? Oh, my hairball's in here. You can come say hi to everybody if you'd like. I know you're waiting. It's day 22, if you wanna know what day. Oh, you're gonna show so, me. Uh Leave a like on this video. You <laughs> think these look like Mew Mews. Okay, you gotta you tell them what, what Mew Mews are. Uh, and you don't know what Mew Mews are. They're like cutest things, like 
better than hamsters and stuff. And they're like cute though. Like want? super cute little things. Little cutesy animals are what my kids call Mew Mews. Any any sort of animal, any if it's fluffy, is it if it's adorable, if it's cute, it's a Mew Mew, which is also the name of Aurora's rabbit. <laughs> Mew Mew. Yeah, it's her favorite bunny, right? Mew Mew. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I don't know. Ryan is more legit when it comes to reminding everybody about YouTube things, about comments, likes, subscribes. That's he watches way more people than I do, and honestly. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna do your calendar. He hasn't done his calendar. I think I would have been more on top. Hold on. I think I would have. Two or twenty. Did you do twenty yesterday? I just spit. Twenty-two. Oh, come here, Tesla. Twenty-one. It's twenty-one. You gotta do twenty-one and twenty-two. And for everybody else. Twenty-one. Oh, you're in my hair. My daily dose of Tesla. Oh, it's a hobby. Oh, ooh, you it's a sleigh. Oh, it's a sleigh. Go down. It's a hobby sleigh. Oh, yeah. Um, what? What? Why can he so small? I think we're going to sign off here for this, this talking segment. Can you stop for a second? What is that? Is it a person? Let me see. It's an elf. It's like a Santa elf. This is like the weirdest color elf. That he got out of his advent. <laughs> green, green, green. I don't know. It's not going to focus on it, but it's like one ear is painted and his hands are gold. And then everything else is green except his red shoes. It's really weird. Here you go. You can put it on the back with everything else. Also, this is love. Sh I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me in this shirt like a million times, but we always joke about this is one of his like not work shirt work shirts. And it's like an oversized and it's super distressed. And we always joke about how like... This would be marketed as like a distressed shirt in the store, but it's literally just like all the holes and like the distress, the placement of it is from using it with the welder and all the sparks from the welders. But if I wear it with like skinny, I could, I could make this look super cool, but I literally just sleep in it because it's comfy. I don't know why it smells like bacon. I can show you guys this that I'm working on since I haven't really done a sit down. Can you wait a second? Anyways, this is the sweater I'm working on. It's a Stardust by Dragon Horde Yarn. In the Lion brand. Pound of love. And I, I've got a bunch of like goblin core, dark cottage gore kind of mood boards pinned with a lot of oversized sweaters. And I thought this would be really, I can see you guys through this, but this is really cute. I just, I love it. I don't know, see you guys. Next clip. on the table because I had it pointing down to film me earlier uh, knitting and when I was on the phone with Lev it is now 7 30 at night uh yeah I am almost done with the body of that sweater I showed off earlier um I gotta go sit and watch a movie with my kids I swear if I have to do watch wrong goes wrong again again uh, I might scream but I'm hoping that They'll let me have a turn with the TV now, even though my computer's in front of me, hence the light. No, still didn't brush my hair. Got this lovely little rat's nest still going on, cause, uh, yeah. You know, nobody sees me from behind ever, except my kids who are lower. I just finished, what book, where did it go? Just finished a book on Audible, what is it? Uh, binding vows 
the first book in the Laconic Time Travel series. It was a, another Highlander smut romance. It was not, it's not on the steamy side, but it's enjoyable because I do love a good a kilt thing going on. It was fun just because I liked uh, the concept of it starts off with them being at a Ren Fair, so you can't tell that they're tri time travelers, but it tells you like pretty right off the bat that they're time travelers, but it's really fun. Um, as somebody who does run fairs, that was just kind of a fun little, little snippet in there. Um, sorry, I was doing a bobble and spacing out, but I think, uh, I don't know what's on my face. I think I'm going to go and play Elder Scrolls Online. Now it is the New Life Festival. And uh, let's see if anybody wants to play with me there. Uh, so I'm going to sign off here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. And actually, Lev will be home early. So eee. everybody loves our content together while I just enjoy this time. I will not, 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 not. I need an odd number of knots for it to still be a negative so they don't cancel each other out. Whatever, he will be here and I will be posting while he's here because we'll actually be like doing stuff. So it'll be entertaining. Uh, Oh, here. I guess I'll show you guys this one more time because tomorrow I'm hopefully we'll have the body finished of this um, sweater. And I really, really, I keep envisioning it with it. Where is it? With this fascinator that I have. I keep, obviously, my hair will be much nicer. But yeah, I keep envisioning wearing it with like this. Even though I don't really know how to style it. Uh, not with that knot. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I really love this. I think I've shown this off in a picture on my Instagram. It is a like floral fascinator headband and it's really cool. It's got like some little velvet petal. I love the texture on it. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, bye-bye. <laughs>